Here's a second unit on this site, T350. And as I approach the machine, it's on and on low voltage cutoff. Got some debris in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do first here, I've got probably minimum amount of pad left on this. We're gonna charge it up first while I service that machine over there. So we're gonna charge this. This is the second unit. Uh, first part of the video showed that it was on low voltage cutoff. So it's been charging for at least a half hour. I think I can get something out of this and see what's going on with this unit. And this one has nearly 260 hours. And you see the date code on this one. I didn't keep it on there long enough. 18. So the batteries do have water in the system. Okay, wet test for this unit. I, re I flipped the uh, blades over. Plus there was debris all on the bottom. Pads are okay. And I'm only gonna get a limited amount of time. But we'll see what we get. Solution bowl. Looks like it had some mildew in it. We're gonna see what happens now. Okay, so once the filter is cleaned out, we got water coming out. There's a little bit of a wobble in the front. Hopefully it'll work itself out. But I'm just wondering, I'm hoping there's no uh, long-term damage on the batteries being left in a dis discharge mode. 